up you guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be teaching you how I make my oh so famous smoothie bowl and it's not really a so famous <laughs> I wish but if you follow me on Instagram you know that I make these and post them on my story probably like every three days which maybe could get annoying but I'm literally so obsessed with them and I think they look so good and I always just I always just have a need to post them <laughs> but also I get so many replies to my Instagram stories saying please make a how you make these or DIY whatever and I do come I call them acai bowls on my Instagram, but I actually don't incorporate any acai puree, which you totally can do. The coolest thing about this is like you can literally add anything you want, which I think is really, really awesome. So I am going to eat my smoothie bowl right here and kind of talk you through the steps because why not? If you didn't know, I actually just started back on my health and fitness journey. I was kind of on it a little bit towards the end of high school and then once I got into college, I was really just focusing on college, but now I am getting way more into the fitness realm and recently I went grocery shopping and only bought really healthy things and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I have no reason not to. Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm actually going to upload a fitness little at-home workout routine. It's either going to be before this video or after this video, so keep an eye out for that. I just want to share with you how I make this beautiful meal, snack, whatever you want it to be, honestly, and how you can make it too. So keep on watching. So to start out, you're going to need a blender or a Nutribullet or anything of that sort. I think the Nutribullet works the best because it's like the perfect size for one serving, in my opinion. And as you can see in this video, I did try to measure out a lot of things so I could easily tell you, but the measurements never really go as planned, so I'm just gonna, you know throw out what I use. Just want to throw it out there that I am not a nutritionist or an expert in this realm. So yes, I would say this is healthy. If some of the things I have are not that healthy, you can nicely leave a comment down below to let others know. Please don't hate on me. You know, I'm just a little bean trying to be a little healthier than eating Papa John's every other day, so. <laughs> no, but seriously, all you absolutely need for this is any sort of frozen fruit. So I didn't have a banana, but usually I'll put a half of a frozen banana, which is really good when it comes to consistency. But I always put in a little bit, usually a cup of mixed berries and a cup or two of strawberries. However, I am still gonna flip through the ingredients I will be using this video Quickly here, I'm using flaxseed, chia seed, protein meal replacement, almond milk, frozen strawberries, frozen blended berries, baby spinach, granola, and coconut chips. So the first thing that I do when I'm making my smoothie bowl is I actually take a tablespoon of flaxseed and a teaspoon of chia seeds and I put it in the Nutribullet and then I just blend those so um, they're not really like seedy but you can do that however you like. You also don't need to add them. I add them because flaxseed gives a really good sense of fiber that just helps your digestive system and then chia seeds honestly don't know exactly what chia seeds do but I know they're good for you. <laughs> So I added some of those as well. Next thing I'm going to do is add the fruit. So like I said, I add one cup of strawberries and one cup of mixed berries. And then I ended up adding another cup of strawberries because I didn't think that was enough. And I added one cup of almond milk, but ended up actually using probably like a cup and a half. But that is where it gets kind of tricky. You kind of just have to keep adding in as much almond milk as you want. It's better to have less almond milk than more almond milk because you want it to be thicker than just a regular smoothie. This is also why we don't add ice. And then the next thing I do is blend it all together. Oh wait, I forgot I added spinach this time. Now you don't have to add spinach. I, this is actually the first time I've added spinach, but that's just because I always run out of it when I make my acai bowls. But I just bought some new ones yesterday and I needed some greens in my life. And honestly, I like the taste of spinach, but also doesn't give that much of a taste to smoothies to me. I don't know why. So I was like, why not add some greens? And then also what you can do is add a scoop of protein or meal replacement, and that's what I have here. And I will do that if I wanna skip breakfast and just eat this, or if I wanna eat it for lunch or even dinner. I actually already had breakfast, and this is more of like a midday snack for me. So I'm not gonna add it this time, but it doesn't change the taste at all. And if anything, it makes it taste a little better because my flavor is actually vanilla. But 
definitely not necessary. That's just if you want it, like I said, to be a meal replacement. You can also, if you want it to be really sweet, see I think it's already pretty sweet with the fruit, but you can also add in some agave syrup. I don't think I showed that in this video, but agave is just a really natural sweetener that's just a good alternative to sugar. And a lot of people top it on their acai bowls or they'll add it to it, so yeah. Just throwing that out there. And then I will blend that baby up until it is like a perfect, even consistency. And go ahead and add it to a bowl of any kind. Um, and then I end up adding on my favorite parts of this. And my favorite part is actually the granola and the coconut flakes. Now, I think that having the granola and coconut flakes is like so vital and usually I'll add a banana but like I said I'm out of bananas I think it's so vital because like I think being able to chew something along with the thick smoothie is like really important I don't know it makes it feel more like filling to me that might be just like a placebo thing but honestly it is so good I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bite wow wow Hallelujah, hallelujah. So that is it for my DIY smoothie bowl. I hope it was easy to follow along. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more videos like this of my go-to healthy snacks or my go-to meal prep or anything like that, I would love to start doing that because honestly, sharing with you guys my fitness journey really keeps me motivated. And just hearing your guys' comments on what I'm eating and what you guys are eating and stuff really helps me along the way as well because I've been way into watching fitness YouTubers on the tube anyways. <laughs> So if you have anyone you want to recommend to me, totally comment that down below because I've been so into like finding new people as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Before I go, I just wanted to mention because I am uploading this the day I'm filming it. This week only, my Depop has free shipping, which is actually such a big deal. They are doing it, so they're paying the $8 shipping all week. So if you're interested in getting some clothes that were either worn once or never worn or anything like that, I have some good finds on there and I'm adding more every single day. So check out the link in my description because I, I don't know, I write everyone a little note. If you want a free makeup product and you message me on Depop, I can totally add that into your order. I think I'm taking five dollars or five percent off of bundles whatever one's bigger for you so you can just message me I'm always replying to Depop messages and I just don't want you guys to miss out on free shipping so yeah throwing that out there so you don't miss out love you guys so much I will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs> Got royalty inside my DNA Cocaine corner piece Got war and peace inside my DNA